Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup haul. It's a collective makeup haul which I have uh, of the products which I've been uh, buying lately in the last three months. And uh, without any further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to be showing you all the products I picked up from different places. These are all bought from different places. These are just random different buys. So nothing in particular. So the first uh, product which I picked up is this uh, Modern Renaissance palette. I always wanted a palette like this and this is by far my favorite eyeshadow palette. I've been loving it so much. It's such a great palette to own and uh, I have used this so many times already. I've already um, also recorded a look using this palette which will be up on my channel very soon. So stay tuned for that look. It's a very nice look which I've created. I personally love that look. So this is how the palette looks like. It's. Uh, I've also featured this in my uh, favorite palettes video and uh, I've been really enjoying this palette. It's a recent buy and I love this palette. I bought this from an Insta store for uh, 4000 rupees I think. I will leave down the information of about the prices and from where I bought it in the description box below. So you can check it out in case if you need any information but uh, this palette is a must have I feel for every makeup artist or every beauty or makeup lover. This is by far my favorite palette. I love it so much and I can't talk enough about this palette. It's really amazing. It has really some nice warm uh, warm toned colors and perfect for Indian skin. So I love this palette. It's my favorite, top favorite. I am a big fan of Juvia's Place palettes and I picked up, I already have one of their masquerade palette which I have uh, used for a purple eye look before. So I wanted to buy another Juvia's Place palette and I picked up this new Saharan Juvia's Place palette. Uh, it's a hardened palette by Juvia's Place. This is how the palette looks. It is such a stunning palette and uh, I love the packaging also. There's no mirror but I don't mind this picture here because it's so beautiful. And it's a very, it gives me a very African vibe and the colors are, the color selection is again really beautiful. Perfect for Indian skin. This color right here is so stunning. I can't even talk about more about this. This is a stunning color. Again, I've recorded a uh, amazing makeup look using this palette and it will be up on my channel soon. I don't know when but it will be up on my channel and I love this palette. The orange, the rust and these other skin colors, other eyeshadows over here. All these colors are really amazing. Again, again, I bought this from an Insta store. Uh, and I will leave the information of the Insta store down in the description box so you can check it out. I love this palette again. So like you already know I have already recorded a look using this palette but I wanted to include it in a haul because I have not uh, done a haul for this. It's the Kylie uh, Royal Peach palette which I picked up. This is how the cover looks like. It's amazing packaging. I love these eyes. That's why I have not thrown this. Normally I do not keep the packaging of these uh, boxes but I really like this and uh, I've already done a look using this a peach uh, I've, I've already recorded this exact same look using this palette and uh, I will leave the video down below in case if you haven't seen it and uh, it's a nice palette I mean people have been criticizing this palette so much for the fragrance and uh, uh, Kylie I think has been ripped down for a very sticky palette for creating a sticky palette but I think this palette is not that bad it is uh, it does smell a little bit of chemical but nothing that I'm going to die with the smell you know? so I am really enjoying this palette this is a nice palette I feel again very nice peachy tones for Indian skin this blue over here is such a bright nice pop of color in this palette and again a green this green is quite similar to the green in the Saharan palette so I need to compare it I haven't compared the colors but I really enjoy this palette as well it's a nice palette again bought from an insta store next product I picked up is this MAC studio fix foundation in uh, NC37 I have been wanting to buy a MAC foundation since ever I did not have a MAC foundation and uh, people have been raving about it and I've been wanting to buy a foundation and uh, I happened to be in a MAC store 
uh, in a mall and that's why I picked up this one I took my chances and I picked up this one this is a perfect match for me I love the shade I also picked up a few products from back and uh, the first product I picked up is this uh, back translucent powder it's a yellow color powder and the shade number is DL04 it's a very nice banana kind of a shade I've been using it in my videos lately if you've seen my videos for uh, uh, you know highlighting my under eye or you know setting my concealer I really like this powder it's very finely milled and uh, is a very nice powder in case if you're looking for an uh, inexpensive powder uh, this is really nice to use I also picked up another shade called TL09 which is more like a skin color which is more like a skin color powder and again from pack it's a very nice powder it opens up like this so you can keep your puff here in case if you want to and uh, the product opens like this from the top it's a screw cap and uh, I and a shifter inside so I really like both the powders I picked up one is a yellow powder and one is a more skin colored powder so I'm really enjoying these two powders as well also I picked up a amazing highlighter from PAC they've recently launched their highlighters and I wanted to try one so they have I think around 12 shades and highlighters and I picked up this one which is 02 it's a baked highlighter it is such an amazing highlighter I've put swatches of this highlighter on my Instagram if you want to check out the swatches but uh, this is um, a baked highlighter a very champagne color kind of a highlighter I think this is a perfect shade for Indian skin if you are a NC37 or a NC40 this will go very well with your skin tone and uh, this is an amazing highlighter, very smooth, very finely milled. I'll show you a swatch if you want to see. It's a very nice highlighter. I really enjoy this highlighter. So this is the new highlighter I picked up from PAC. Next product which I picked up from PAC is this PAC Eye Base. It's uh, in the shade 05. It's a very sparkly kind of a eye base. You can see it's a very sparkly kind of an eye base. I really like this eye base. I think it's so sparkly and uh, it's nice to use for a base in uh, any of the eye looks where I need a lot of sparkle I've not used it till now so I'll be using it in one of my looks very soon I have a look planned for uh, all these new products so I'll be using it in one of my uh, makeup looks very soon so the next product I picked up from uh, the high-end brand which you don't get here but I picked up from uh, I picked up these from a beauty store in a car at Pali Hill. This is the Better Than Sex Mascara which I picked up. This is the waterproof version. Uh, people have been raving, raving about these mascaras and I normally never buy a high-end mascara but I really wanted to try this out. So I bought this from there and it's a nice mascara. I love it for my upper lashes but it's so difficult to use it on my lower lash line and it actually hurts and it pokes. The wand is quite nice. It's uh, quite nice and thick, but uh, I don't like to use it for my lower lashes. I don't know why. It's quite pokey. I love to use it for my upper lashes only. So this is again a nice mascara. And uh, I bought this one, but I feel you get a lot of uh, Indian drugstore mascaras which are equally good. So I bought this only because it's been so raved about and I always wanted to try at least one high-end mascara. I never tried a high-end mascara ever. So this is going to be my first and last buy of these kind of mascaras. I'm, I think I'm going to stick to the drugstore, especially Maybelline and L'Oreal have amazing mascaras. So I don't think I'm going to be buying these again. The next product which I picked up from the high end is this Anastasia Beverly Hill Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. I love this brow pomade. It is so amazing. It's so creamy. I love this brow pomade. It's really nice and perfect for my... Uh, my hair color it's a very smooth creamy uh, very natural looking dip brow pomade I'm very glad I bought this one and uh, I this is a very famous product in the makeup world so I am glad I picked up this one and I'm going to be picking up more of these if this gets over so this is another product I picked up then I uh, recently picked up two lipsticks from uh, Maybelline and L'Oreal the first lipstick which I picked up from uh, Maybelline is the lipstick from the creamy, the newly launched creamy matte range. It's called Touch of Spice. This lip color has been so, so, so famous and I wanted to try it. I will uh, put a picture of this lip color 
how it looks on me after this and it is a beautiful lip color for Indian skin this is the swatch it's a very natural uh, everyday kind of lip color I think it's a very nice lip color so I picked up this one uh, the formula of these lipsticks is really amazing they stay on your lips for a long time they are creamy they are matte but uh, non drying I love the formula I need to pick up a few more shades in this especially I've heard the divine wine is supposed to be a very nice shade I want to pick up that one so I really enjoy I'm really enjoying this lip color next lipstick I picked up is from L'Oreal from the moist matte range it's a new shade launched by them and it's and it's called wine marsala this is the shade I will again put a picture of me wearing this it's a beautiful marsala color a true marsala color again the formula of these lipsticks is just phenomenal it stays on your lips the entire day and it's very creamy yet matte so that's what I love about these lipsticks again a very nice lip color to try next product I picked up is from, from the Makeup Revolution store which is opened on uh, Linking Road in Bandra. I picked up the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in Brunette. It's basically an eyebrow pencil. It's uh, a brown color and perfect for my hair color. Actually I saw Ankita from Makeup Fashion Revival uh, pick this up and she spoke about this and that's what I wanted to try this out. It's a very nice uh, brow pencil and I've been loving this for daily use. I think it's a quick and easy way to do your brows on daily basis. So again, I am loving this eyebrow pencil and it's a perfect uh, shade for me. And I also picked up their awesome uh, metal foil finish eyeshadows. I bought the shade uh, a grey, a steel grey kind of a shade. The shade is called Black Diamond. This is how it looks. It's, I'm not even opening the packaging because it's a grey colour, steel grey kind of a... Of a eyeshadow it's supposed to be a copy of the Stila foil eyeshadows this is what you get in the product you get the product and you get a mixing medium along with it and a small tin plate to mix the product this is supposed to give you a foil metallic finish a high foil metal metallic uh, eye finish uh, eyeshadow finish so I haven't yet tried these out I bought the shade uh, black diamond which is like a grayish kind of a shade uh, I hope you can see the color. I picked up this one and I picked up the one in rose gold. This is again a rose gold kind of a shade. This is the rose gold one. I don't know if you can see the shade, but this is the rose gold one. So I picked up these two to try out, and uh, I'm going to be using these for one of my looks maybe I will let you guys know this product I picked up is this L'Oreal uh, eyeliner it's a gel liner in color blue it's a blue color eyeliner get a brush and the gel eyeliner along this is a very dark blue color eye color kind of eyeliner and I wanted to use uh, buy this always so I didn't have a blue gel liner so I bought this one and I also picked up this NYX uh, eye gel eyeliner again it's a cobalt blue kind of a color this is how the color looks it's a really bright blue and I wanted to buy a color like this forever and I couldn't find it but luckily I spotted this somewhere in a store and I picked this up along with the L'Oreal gel liner in the dark blue so maybe I will do a look using these two again together I'm really excited about using next product I picked up is uh, this Euro Paris eyelash adhesive it's a glue it's an eyelash glue and it is latex free it comes in a dropper kind of a form like this actually I've been using the duo eyelash glue for a longest time but uh, I always find my eye watering whenever I use the glue and I asked my one of my friend and she said even her eyelash even her eyes start watering uh, from the duo eyelash glue so maybe it's got to do something with the glue that it doesn't suit me so I've bought this one to try out and hopefully this works for me in case if you all know of any other eyelash glue which is good and does not irritate the eyes and is a really nice one please let me know but for now I'm going to be trying out this one for my future looks and see how it works for me and I will also let you guys know if this has worked for me or not 
thing I picked up are uh, these six eyelashes. I picked up five of them from uh, Pack and some single eyelashes from Euro Paris for my makeup looks. I picked up the eyelashes in number 41, 55 and 57 from Pack. Also I picked up a number 53 and a number 52 from Pack. And I picked up these uh, single flare lashes in number 2 from Euro Paris. So these ones are nice. I've never tried the single ones, but I think these ones would be nice to apply whenever you want to do a simple kind of a look or you know. I'm going to try these out. I've never tried these. So I was really uh, intrigued about trying these out. So that's why I picked these up. If these work for me, maybe I will pick up more of these. So these are all the products I've picked up in the last two or three months. I know these are a lot of products, but uh, you guys know I love buying makeup and this is what I love to do. It's my passion. I love to create makeup looks for you guys. I like to experiment with makeup and I always want to try out new products. I hope you like this video and uh, if you have any questions regarding any of these products, you can put them down below and I will be glad to answer all of these. Please do subscribe to my channel and please hit the like button if you like this video and enjoyed this video. Until next time, stay beautiful and timeless. Bye-bye.